Hi, I'm Tim. Join me as we draw a set of TurboCAD plans for the foam bug for the second build of this aircraft. Let's get to it. This is the foam bug. It's a four channel RC plane that I designed and built over a period of three days using foam board and hot glue. What we're going to do in this video is reverse engineer this aircraft. This is built without plans. I just thought and sketched it out as I uh, constructed it for uh, tail moments, sizes that I thought would look about right. The airplane flew absolutely great. So what we're going to do now is take this finished airplane, take measurements, and learn TurboCAD, and I'll show you how to draw a set of TurboCAD plans for this airplane. The key measurements on this airplane are the length of the fuselage is 30 inches. That 30 inches came from the size of the foam board, which is 30 inches long. The wingspan is 40 inches, um, and when I do the part three of this video, I'll show you how to build the wing. The key distances on the foam bug, the engine mount is two inches square. That gives sufficient area to mount the engine. The distance from the front of the engine mount to the wing is six inches. The wing cord or width is six and three quarters inches to the back. And then everything else is just pretty much what you see for the size of the fin, tail, uh, ailerons, but I'll make some recommendations on the video. So again, this should be a good exercise in learning TurboCAD, drawing a set of plans from a finished airplane. The key to the successful flight of the foam bird, among other, the, the, the design was right, was the weight. The total weight with the battery came in at one pound, one ounce, and that's a, a very good weight for a plane of this size. So let's go ahead and take a look at a video of the maiden flight of the foam bug earlier this week. As we draw the plans for the foam bug, just to make it easy, I mounted the wing on top of the profile fuselage because it was a flat bottom wing. What I'm going to do in the plans is we'll see how it's very easy with TurboCAD to take the wing on top, relocate it to the bottom of the fuselage for a low wing design. I'll add some landing gear for that low wing design. I'm going to change the shape of the tail surfaces, make them a little bit larger. Same for the uh, fin back here. I'm going to do a little bit more build up along here to better um, place the receiver servos in the battery. Also the battery was placed here, was fine for the weight and balance. I'm going to cut away a little bit of this so we can adjust the placement of the battery to get the proper center of gravity for the second version of the foam bug. The wing is made from foam board. I use the arm and wind te uh, technique from Experimental Airlines and the link to that channel is on my, um, my channel page. Again, I will actually demonstrate how to build this wing on the third video, but what we have to understand for the plans is we're going to have to sketch this airfoil into TurboCAD to place it into the plans drawing because we're going to lower the wing. We have to know the cutout of the fuselage for this fuselage, uh, for this wing section. The wing pretty much forms itself through the foam board into a quite close to a Clark Y airform, a airfoil, but I'll show you in TurboCAD how to draw this out to properly, properly place the wing. So now let's head up to the computer, we'll open up TurboCAD, and I'll walk you through some of the tools of TurboCAD. We'll draw the sheet of foam 30 inches by 20 inches, and I'll show you how I approach drawing an airplane plan. We'll set up the fuselage, we'll do the tail surfaces, we'll take a look at the wing, aileron control uh, uh, surfaces, how to put in the landing gear, where to locate various uh, uh, items of information. There'll be enough information on the plan on the YouTube video where you'll be able to build your own foam bug with those key measurements with the wing leading edge, wing cord, fuselage lengths, etc. But it'll be a good walkthrough of how TurboCAD can very easily drop a model airplane plan for you. This is the TurboCAD layout on the computer. I've drawn a square 30 inches by 20 inches, noted 3 16 inch thick. This is the foam board that we'll build the airplane from. So we'll draw a top line using the line tool, and this will be the top of the fuselage. I drew a second line three inches down, which will be the bottom of the fuselage. Note the fuselage is 30 inches long. <clears throat> That's the length of the foam board. Using the parallel line tool, we're taking uh, out construction lines six inches from the left for the leading edge of the wing, then the width of the wing for six and three quarters inches. I've drawn another parallel line one inch down using the line tool. This will be the um, width of the tail of the fuselage. 
And then we're going to use a line tool to draw a line from there to the trailing edge of the wing, which would be the bottom of the fuselage. And I'm going to add another parallel line two inches down from the top. This will be the size of the nose, two inches by two inches. So we'll take the line tool again, uh, connect it on the bottom of the fuselage to the leading edge of the wing, and it'll snap to the vertex there. And then we'll draw another line to the nose section, and this will be the outline of the fuselage. What we'll do now is select some of these lines and delete them. Now we'll use the trim tool to get rid of these excess lines on the bottom. Trim tool, we select the cutting edge, next click, get rid of that line. Trim tool again, cutting edge, select the line. We'll select the line tool one more time, snap to either end for the completion of the nose section and the tail section. The scroll wheel makes us zoom in and out by pressing down the space bar. You see the little hand there. We can move the uh, diagram very easily on the TurboCAD. So that's the side of the fuselage that we see there. I'm going to select the entire foam board diagram, and we're just going to move that off to the side. I like to keep anything that's drawn somewhere on the drawing. We may need portions of it later on. Again, this is the side of the fuselage. What we're going to do now is draw a box that will be the size of the wing. The wing for measuring on the prototype is six and three quarters inches long and about an inch thick. The inspector bar will create that box. Notice this is where the wing goes on the prototype on top of the fuselage. It's just a flat surface, very easy to uh, locate there. Because we're going to make a low wing version for this version of the foam bug, we're going to take this box as an outer dimension and draw an airfoil in it. First, we're going to draw two more boxes. It'll be the spars. These are the foam spars, one inch thick by three quarters inch thick. We'll copy and uh, paste another one of those so we have two. And we'll just place those two squares inside the wing area just for orientation as much as anything else. Now we're going to use a curve tool, in this case the um, control point spline curve tool. You could experiment which ones work best for you. I'm just sketching this out. I periodically click it and it holds a curve. You can import a airfoil. I have a video on this for importing airfoils and trace over it if you like. This is just a rough sketch. It's close enough for what we'll be doing with the foam bug. Because again, the airfoil is created by bending the foam to make the um, wing itself. But this will be close enough to see how it works on the plan. So there's the completed airfoil sketched out. We'll go ahead and select the box and get rid of that that we used as the um, boundary for the airfoil. And then we'll just draw a line to close up the back end of the airfoil shape. And using the scroll wheel to scroll in and out, spacebar, little hand to move the drawing around, a very handy feature of TurboCAD. Now because we're going to be doing some uh, actions with this wing, uh, this airfoil shape, let's go ahead and select the whole thing and group it to make sure everything is one entity. So under the menu, edit menu, we pick group, we group everything together so it's easy to move around. Because this is an important uh, drawing that we're going to need potentially later on, Let's go ahead and select it, copy, paste. We'll make a second copy of that just to put off to the side. We'll zoom back in, and what we'll do is we'll select the wing one more time. And just drag it up to the top of the fuselage to see how it looked on the prototype. And this is the first version of the foam bug with the wing on the top. I've typed in uh, some key dimensions for this airplane, the size of the motor, how far the wing leading edge has to be, the wing cord, the fuselage length. That's all you really need to make your own foam bug. Using the tape measure feature of TurboCAD, I'll just double check all the measurements. It is 30 inches long for the fuselage. We can verify the little yellow box. The wing is six inches back from the leading edge. I've drawn a schematic of a motor, and we're just going to, again, it's a grouped image with a motor. 
We're going to put that in front so we can visualize what the motor is going to look like. We may want to do some side cheek uh, cowling for that. Also, the propeller is an 8-inch propeller. We'll need to know that length when drawing up the landing gear. Now we've selected the wing. You can see how we use the TurboCAD. We simply drag it down to the bottom of the fuselage, and that is where the wing's going to be in our prototype as we build the fuselage, fuselage side out of foam. Very easy to do. Uh, just one of the great features of TurboCAD. We get rid of the construction lines. It's always good to save these projects as we go along. Now we're going to draw the fin and rudder for the foam boat. This is just experimentation. We use the line tool. We draw um, the vertical line, angle back a little bit, the top of the fin using the shift key to make sure it's perfectly level. We'll draw another line <clears throat> for the leading edge of the fin. And again, this is just experimentation. Uh, looks about right. If it's what you want for your model, you can really adjust it any way you see fit. So this is the first attempt at the fin, and we can easily use the trim function to clean that up. Notice I've decided to make the top of the fin a little bit lower. I think it was a little bit too tall. We just simply drag that down. And then we use a trim function to get rid of the excess lines. Here's the cutting edge. Click one more time. And the final trim, and that is a, a fin. <clears throat> now we can do a similar action for the rudder. We just draw the top of the rudder. On the bottom of the rudder, I'm going to angle it up because I will have a straight elevator for uh, construction of this model. And just decide what shape you would like for the rudder as part of the back of the airplane. It could be straight up or it could be angled. Again, we trim to make it uh, cleaned up. And that's a side view of our airplane. So what we're going to do now is <clears throat> use a fuselage to provide guides for a top view of the fuselage. So we select the whole fuselage, we copy and paste it. We drag it off to the side, and then what we're going to do, we're going to rotate it 90 degrees to use it as guides for the top view of the foam bug airplane. In the inspector bar, we can type in 90 degrees to get a precise uh, rotation for the airplane. Then move it down and over to the side so we have a uh, drawing room to, for the top view of the airplane. So using the fuselage as a guide, we'll take construction lines to the front of the fuselage. We use a parallel tool to draw down another gu construction guide to the leading edge of the wing. And then we'll do another construction guide to the back of the airplane. This will let us very accurately draw in the top view of the foam bug. The fuselage of the foam bug is three layers of the 3 16 inch foam. So we'll draw all three of those now uh, using the parallel line tool, the inspector bar, um, 3 16 of an inch is uh, 0 0.19 inches. And we'll just draw those three layers of foam to represent the fuselage. Again, using the parallel line tool again, 0.19, and we'll do that a third time. A little bit of overhang of the construction lines. That's just a normal trim function to make that all evened up. Now we have the construction lines for the wing, front and back. We'll simply use the line tool to draw the wing. My prototype had a 40 inch wingspan. I'm still debating on the next one whether to make it 40 or 42 inches. We'll see as we go along. Uh, there's a parallel line tool for the wing uh, trailing edge and then just connect the uh, ends for the end of the wing. 
We use a line tool again, parallel line for the aileron, drag that down. I just decided on a length of a width of about two inches for the ailerons. And you can experiment. Maybe I would like a little bit of a sweep to the ailerons just to make the plane look a little bit better. We can draw in a line as easy as that. Draw a straight line for the outside edge. Select this lower line, delete, and then use a trim tool to clean that up. So there's a wing and aileron top view. Same procedure for the stabilizer. We're going to have a swept leading edge. We just simply draw a line about the size we think is right. Uh, the end of it, holding down the shift key to make sure that that's nice and straight. And then another line for the rear of the horizontal stabilizer. Trim, uh, clean that up with the trim tool, and then we can do a similar action for drawing the elevator. So what, now we can see the top view, the fuselage, wing, aileron, stabilizer, and elevator. Now note that I made a little mistake drawing the aileron. I've got to have some sort of cutout so it doesn't scrape against the fuselage. Okay, with TurboCAD, very easy. We just go back, <clears throat> put in a line <coughs> for the indentation of the aileron, clean that up with a trim, and that's a better representation of the aileron. So now we can use a circle tool to, uh, for the landing gear. We'll just draw a wheel. It can be any size that you want for the wheel. And on the center point, we draw another circle, and then fill it in with a hatch pattern to represent the uh, tire for the wheel assembly. We can very easily move that around. We just put it to where we think it looks about right. Notice I typed in the center of gravity. That should be about 25 to 30 percent back from the leading edge of the wing. Will work fine for this airplane. With the line tool, we'll draw the music wire for the landing gear just to get an idea of where what it's going to look like. And more importantly, where it fits into the fuselage. Now it is a foam fuselage, so we have to have some reinforcement. And what I'll do in this case is I'll draw two rectangles that'll be plywood that will just glue in place next to that music wire landing gear, reinforce with some tape, just to give it some strength to hold it into the foam. Finally, with TurboCAD, it's easy to add decorative items. This will be a pilot headrest. I think it'll look nice on this model. Just a line going up like that, and another one for the front of the headrest, and trim that up. And similarly, you can have a little cockpit assembly. Um, just like on the headrest, you just simply draw it in place on front of the aircraft. And we trim that as before. So that is our fuselage. We'll get rid of the center of gravity after we save it. And it's very easy to print this out on paper, and you'll see that here shortly in the video. So we've completed the plan of the fuselage. It's pretty easy to print out full size, even on a home printer, taking, in this case, five sheets of paper together. But this is the fuselage of the updated foam bug with the low, uh, low set wing. And you can see here's the nose section, the wing with the spars. I put in a cockpit backstop. The tail surfaces. You can literally paste this onto your foam board from here to here is 30 inches the size of the foam board. Trace it over and cut out the wing lower section for the wing insert. And again on the third video we'll go through all of that. Thank you for joining me in this video. The foam bug is very easy to build. It flies great. You have enough information in this video to uh, create your own foam bug. Stay tuned for the third version of this where I'll do a more detailed build of the foam bug. I'll show you how to build the wing, the fuselage, techniques with uh, reinforcing tape, 
and a monocoat covering the airplane to make it look a little bit better at the end. So thank you for watching this video and we'll look forward to seeing you in part three.